my heart was pounding and I was having trouble breathing. There was this weird foul smell and I thought, well, what's this? These neighbors say they got sick when curfew was last applied to the Babe Zaharias golf course in 2006. They've been fighting against its use ever since. How many emails have gone back and forth between you and the Sports Authority? Over 11 years, hundreds. Curfew kills tiny worms called nematodes that leave bare spots on golf courses. But the pesticide can cause cancer and can only be applied by certified technicians who have to shut down and prevent access to the course for 24 hours. The last time curfew was used at Babe Zaharias, the state fined the applicator for spraying it too close to a home. And neighbors shot these pictures of people on the course shortly after the application. Manufacturer Dow Chemical canceled another planned treatment due to neighbors' protest in 2009. While some neighbors say they're not concerned. It's never been an issue. I'm not worried about my health or anything like that. Others believe curfew poses too big of a risk to a densely populated neighborhood like Forest Hills where hundreds of homes surround the golf course. Having dogs or children play on it, I, I don't think it's the best of ideas. I can't have any peace of mind that it's not going to come into my yard, that it's not going to affect my neighbors. The TSA used curfew at Rocky Point and Rogers Park golf courses last year. In this notice to Rogers Park neighbors, the TSA quotes University of Florida professor Dr. William Crow as saying curfew is the most feasible option to treat nematodes. But Crow tells us in an email, quote, I did not make the statement quoted, saying, I do not even know what is meant by most feasible. Curfew is one of several options available. The TSA declined an interview, but a spokesman says they are considering multiple other products in addition to curfew.